So I wanted to do a cooking video, and I wanted to use my slow cooker, so I made a boring soup, and I learned some lessons. The nice thing about slow cooker chicken soup, you don't have to do anything special with the chicken. Throw it in, put everything in around it, shred it once it's cooked. That's it. Done. I modified the recipe a little from the original because I don't cook with wine and I was out of celery. Lesson number one, do not skip the celery. It matters. It's not just a good soup vegetable. It's an essential one. Also, always use more garlic than the recipe calls for. Come on, you know what's up. Now my slow cooker's a little busted, so I have to cook everything on high. This can lead to complications, but it still turns into a hearty soup when we're done. Though it is a little bland for my taste. Lesson number two, which I learned about only after I had made the whole soup, my mother, unbeknownst to me, has been putting chilies in soup since I was a kid and never told me. And it isn't in any of the family soup recipes. No wonder lots of the soups I've been making don't have the kick that I'm looking for. Crushed chilies or cayenne pepper next time. Definitely. Lesson number three. I need to stop cooking with egg noodles. I don't really like them, and they get all weird if you overcook them, which I always do. I stood there and watched them. I took the heat off when I needed to, and they still turned out all gummy. However, I can confirm that if you make this soup with regular pasta, it just absorbs all the broth and becomes super hearty and delicious. But if you're a wizard, keep the egg noodles. All in all, the soup is exactly what I want it to be. A good base, a good start. An easy dish that makes like a week of lunches that I can alter to my taste. And throw your favorite soup recipes in the comments. And stay awesome. Thank <laughs> you.